Hey everybody, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Friend Mail Friday. Tonight I have a special guest with me, my girlfriend Brittany. Hi. And we have a decent amount of packages to open, so I want to thank you guys all for being here. I'm going to start off, like I do usually, with a couple of things that I've picked up recently on eBay and an app called Mercari. I haven't opened these up yet, but thanks for joining us. Let's go ahead and... Uh, check out what we got here it's been eating away at me i got these a couple days ago in the mail and this is something i've been wanting to pick up for quite a while hey chris weaver and everyone else this was uh an ebay auction that i came out on top of i think this was like 17 bucks hey gary uh my headaches were pretty bad today it wasn't too great of a day Hey, True Seekers, but you may see it already. This is the Vladdy Guerrero Senior 95 Bowman Rookie Card. I won this card for quite a while. I pulled out a pack when I was a little kid, and whenever we moved houses a long time ago when I was in high school, uh, something happened to it, and, we lost, and I ended up losing it. But uh, I tried to track this card down to the National. I could not find one unslabbed. I think the only one I could, the only ones I came across there were like back at nine point fives for like seventy five bucks. So I'm getting this one for like uh, I think like sixteen bucks shipped or something like that. So I thought it was pretty cool to finally have that for my rookie card collection. Pretty excited about that. The Vlad Guerrero rookie card. And here is a five dollar super chat from Jonathan H. <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. I'm not reading that. There you go again with those crazy super chats. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. But yeah, uh, the Vladdy Guerrero rookie card from 95 Bowman. We tried to pull this card out of the box, the recent box break we did in uh, Camp Short. Hopefully, we will find it in uh, the next one we do here sometime soon. 95 Bowman. Sometime in the future. We just did that box not too long ago, so I'll save that for a little while. But uh, pretty stoked on the Vladdy, Vladdy G rookie card there. Pretty nice card. And let's move right on to the next one. This one was a recent Mercari purchase. And I'm pretty excited about this one too. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this cartoon from the 90s. Gargoyles is a complete series on Blu-ray. I have the show on DVD. And um, I'm not sure if this is an original release or it's a bootleg. <coughs> it's sealed. Um, I don't see an actual company that released these, but, uh, these were selling at one point for like 80 bucks. So, and pretty recently too. So I picked this up for like, I think 35 bucks or maybe a little less. If you guys want to get a copy of this, go on Mercari, the app. Um, this guy has a few of these and they're still on there for like 35 bucks, I think. So pretty, uh, pretty sweet stuff. I'm not sure if season three is on here. Season one and two are released on DVD. And uh, season three was kind of overlooked. Never had a DVD release. But pretty stoked to check that out. Like I said, if you guys are interested in wanting to add that to your PC, 35 bucks, pretty good deal for Gargoyles on Blu-ray. Awesome, awesome show. The 90s, one of my favorite uh, cartoons of my childhood. So pretty excited to check that out. Those are my two recent purchases. So I have, uh, I have Brittany here. She's going to help me tear up some packages as well. So I want to thank you guys for being here. Joseph C. is definitely a bootleg. I think it is a bootleg, but... Uh, Pretty awesome one and very uh, well done at that. So I figured I would check it out anyways. Let's see here. I'm going to rip open one of these and then Brittany's going to do one of them. Let's see which one we got first. I'm going to use this cover card here. First one's from Jason Wento. Speaking of Jason Wento, there he is. Hey, Jason. Welcome to the stream. Just got this in my P.O. box, I think, yesterday. Dom G says, John, are you going to Steel City Con? You know what? I actually tried to go there this morning. I wanted to go there this morning, and I, ended up having, uh, I got stuck working. I was pretty upset about it. But at the same time, uh, not too much because my buddy went, and he said he didn't find anything good there. So... 
he collects pretty much the same stuff that I collect for the most part, so I knew that I would have struck out. So I'm not sure if I will go there or not. I wanted to go meet Ernie Hudson. Uh, he'll be there tomorrow, but it's pretty expensive to go meet him. Like for an autograph and a photo with Ernie Hudson, it's like over 100 bucks, which is pretty crazy. But I really wanted to get him to autograph this uh, big Ghostbusters print that I had that Dan Aykroyd signed the last time he was in town. I would like to get both of them on there, even though I'll probably never get Bill Murray and obviously never get Harold Ramis. It would be nice to have Ernie Hudson, but I don't really want to pay. It's 35 bucks to get in, then you're going to pay 50 bucks for an autograph and like 60 bucks for a picture. It's just like, I don't know. It's a big, huge scam. And there's Austin Farmer with a dollar super chat. Thanks a lot for that, Austin Farmer, the collector formerly known as Austin Farmer. Appreciate that, man. And a five dollar super chat right after that from Jonathan H. It says, "Brittany, please don't open my package. I'll need you in good health to tend to John after he opens my package." Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to open it up now. I was I was definitely forewarned by Jonathan H. on his package, uh, half troll package as he called it. Thank you very much for that super chat and one from Cody Martin for five bucks. It says, "I thought." Your audio had an echo. Turns out I had two tabs with your video open. I need to lay off the IPAs. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Cody Martin. And maybe you have you've had one too many IPAs for the evening. And it's not even uh, it's not even 9:30 yet, too, Cody Martin. Shame on you, man. Thank you very much for that super chat. Please check out their channels um, when you get a minute. Click on the super chats and give them a sub. And this is from Jason Wento. Says, Dear John, I'm sending you these for a couple of reasons. First to say thanks for being awesome. Second to say thanks for spreading the word of metal. Hope you like them. If you feel like sending something back, I personally collect Chipper Jones and Bo Jackson. Thanks for your time. Yours truly, Jason Wento. Well, that's pretty awesome. Thank you for your kind words, man. And let's check out and see what we got. We have some packs. I wonder if these are the uh, Batman, the M8 series packs. I feel like I picked some of those up recently. They kind of look similar. And a two dollar super chat from a mess of things is let let the mailman open it. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, man. You know, I was actually thinking about uh, not doing a live video and bringing the mailman out tonight, but I didn't have time to make a skit. Haven't been feeling real well either lately, so I haven't really been in the mood to uh, do that. Uh, even better, gargoyles cards. This is pretty sick. I don't know if these are the same ones that I. Uh, that I got recently. I, I opened a box of these like a few months ago, and I don't think these are the same series from Skybox. Really awesome stuff from Jason here. So we got five packs of Gargoyles cards, and uh, he had to throw a John Wathen card in there. John Wathen manager card from 1988 Tops. Look at all that chest hair trying to escape from underneath his jersey there. And uh, what is this? Uh, Tops Big. I always get these years wrong. I can never just look at them and tell. 88 Tops Big. I used to love these when I was a little kid because we'd always pack search. It was so easy to pack search when we were younger, looking for pirates and rookie cards. Hey, Gary S. says, get that in one touch. Hey, Amy. I guess we got to rip this open and see if we can find 88 Tops Big. I don't know what rookies are in there. Smoltz was an 89. Ventura was an 89, too, I think. Maybe he was an 88. I can't remember. Chili Davis, Mike Henneman, Mike Greenwell, Craig Reynolds. Eddie Woodson and Chuck Finley. And the team checklist. I don't think I've ever seen a Topps Big checklist before. It's pretty cool. And then you always had these in every pack. Pretty cool to see those again after all these years. You can usually buy a box of these for about five bucks most of the time. Pretty neat. And let's definitely check out and rip open a pack of these too from Jason. Really cool. You're not sure where you found these at, but that's kind of neat considering I just found that... Uh, Blue Ray and bought that and ripped that open. And I'm not sure if these are the same series as the ones that I opened or not, but uh, these cards are really cool. Can't remember if they are or not. Really nice cards by Skybox here, if anyone's interested in these. Um, you can usually get a box of them for like 15 or 20 bucks, I think. Not sure if they've gone up in value or not since the last time I looked. There's another $2 super chat from Mess of Things. So I need that manager card. I sent mine to Eric. <laughs> Separation anxiety from John Wathen, 88 Tops manager card. If you really want it, a mess of things, I definitely will send it your way. All you got to do is send me an email, and I'd be happy to send you that, John Wathen, and maybe even an extra, too. Thank you very much for that uh, $2 super chat. I appreciate that, man. I'd be happy to share the wealth and send that your way. And there's Broadway. Really cool cards. 
And I missed the super chat from Chris Weaver, apparently. I'm sorry about that. And there, yeah, there is one. Hypersphere Collectibles. Didn't even see a snake in here with a dollar nineteen super chat. Thank you very much. I actually have a package from Hypersphere Collectibles from Adam. Uh, I'll be ripping into that here in a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. Hypersphere Collectibles also has a channel, so please check him out. Click on that super chat and give him a sub if you would. He just hit a little over 500 there, so please check him out. And we'll be opening up his package here real soon. Thank you very much, Jason. I really appreciate that. I'm going to uh, rip the rest of those Gargoyles packs off camera here. Very cool of you to send that. And uh, I definitely have some Chipper Jones and Bo Jackson in my PC that I can send your way too. So I'll be getting something out to you. Um, not sure if it'll be next week or the week after because I might be out of town for a little bit. So something coming your way though soon, Jason. Thanks again, man. Brittany's going to fill in here. You want to rip, uh, why don't you rip this one open? <clears throat> Just hide the address. Try to eat this ice cream before it all melts. Hang on. Tim English says, I saw a girl's Blu-ray set at Walmart the other day. That'd be pretty awesome if you did. I've uh, never come across it except online, and even then it's uh, kind of scarce. <coughs> but pretty awesome, though. Can't wait to check that out. Brittany's going to rip open this next one. If I can make it out of the room. There's a danger zone in here. Hi guys, how are ya? Okay, so this one is from Dream Big Productions. If I can get, I wanna flip this over before I show somebody's address. I'm gonna rip this open on the end. Dream Hi Chris. Dream Big Productions also has a YouTube channel. Hi Johnny. Hi Amy. <laughs> Hi everybody. <clears throat> okay, we got a little note, and we got a little, uh -oh. <laughs> this is the thinnest fan mail package I have ever sent. Here's your souvenir game token. Oh, I don't know. Which, do you know what this is from? It says gaming, gaming tokens goddess on both sides. I've never seen it. I've never seen it before either. It's really cool though. That is very cool. Is there anything cool. else on the other side of the note? I don't think so. Right of it? No. Mm -mm. see. That's a pretty cool token though. I like that. Thank you very much, Dream Big Productions. That's <laughs> a pretty neat token. That is very neat. Gaming Tokens Goddess. I think I like that, that was a lot. It. With the uh, Statue of Liberty on there. Very cool stuff. Please check out Dream Big Productions. He also has a YouTube channel. It has like almost 1,500 sub subscribers. Very, very cool. Uh, I appreciate that. Chet, Chet said it's a cursed demon token. Chet, no. Not everything is like, cursed uh, demon tokens. Return the slab. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can get this out of here. All right. Any more you want me to open for you? You want to move? You can move out the camera. Oh. $2 super chat from a mess of things. Sometimes collectors have custom coins for trading. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you very much, mess of thing. Appreciate that super chat. That definitely could be what it is. Why don't we open uh, the next one? Hi, Marcos. Hi, Priscilla Collectibles. He's in the stream. Adam Carey. Like I said, this is he really has. challenging. He has a YouTube channel. His most recent video is at the Antique Mall, where he found some pretty crazy Hi, Dallas. uncut baseball cards. Really interesting video. Please go check him out. He just hit 500 subs. But he does uh, new baseball cards, old baseball cards, toys. Uh, a lot of stuff you guys will be interested in, so please check him out if you get a chance. Sorry, guys. From Adam and Hype is here, though. Just cutting and trying not to cut anything in the package while keeping it on camera somehow. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. He sent that to me. Wow. Nice. That is, that is sick. The Panini sticker album. That's that awesome. awesome. He messaged me on Instagram like probably like a couple months ago and, and was thinking about picking that up or asked me if it was a good price, I think. 
That's cool. I don't have that in my collection. That is freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. Hi, Naga. Wow, wow. yeah, that's that's sick. I gotta check that out. And then Big Trouble in Little China the Escape from book. New York. I can't even walk in this room. It's so messy. Oh my, Cody. Super chat. I'm sorry. How do I go back to that? Why won't I? There it is. $2 super chat from Cody. Oh, Mrs. Hand Model. LOL. Hashtag Brit for MB MVP. Thanks, Cody. Thanks for all the compliments on my nail polish, by Thank the way, you, guys. Adam, this is freaking awesome, man. This RGB sticker book. I never come across these. I don't have one. And it's sick that it has a the uh, protective case. And all the stickers are in here, too. Wow. Oh, wow. It's complete. I did not know it was complete. This is freaking awesome. So basically, you buy the packs of stickers, a lot like baseball cards back in the day in the 80s. They had the Panini stickers in the books. A lot of you guys probably have when you're younger. And you complete the players and the pages and whatnot. Same exact concept with these. They're made for different cartoons, but... Uh, this is really awesome. A complete RGB book here with all the stickers. I cannot wait to sit here and go through this. And Maga sent a $2 Super Chat as well. John, I hope you're This is amazing. Mrs. Super Chat. Thank you so much for that hype. $2. Hope your headaches are better, Maga said. Thanks so much, 357 Maga. $2 Super Chat. Really appreciate that, buddy. Uh, my headaches seem to have gotten worse today. They put me on some new medication. Hopefully, uh, after a couple of days, it starts to get Ooh. a little bit better, but uh, I don't know. And there was another $5 super chat from Jonathan H. Brittany sending a reorder of the soaps, etc. to John's address for you. Perhaps the adrenaline from good FMF will help your headaches, John. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, Jonathan H. I appreciate that. You didn't have to send me anything, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to the first one. I've had a history of things getting stolen um, from my place, so... Thank you, Jonathan H. <clears throat> really appreciate that, man. And then I have you... a crazy package coming your way, so you're definitely going to want to check out John H's channel, sub to him, <clears throat> and um, you're going to want to wait and see uh, <laughs> what's in store for him here soon. And then this is from... This is, this is sick, too. Big Trouble in Little China Kong. And you got these, too. I don't want to go through. This is pretty awesome, too. Classic right there. Classic hype. Yeah, hype. We got it. Thank you. Two dollar super chat from him. There's more in the package, sir. You got these from Hype is your collectibles too, but I don't want to go through those Let's without check you. Let's check out the note first. Okay, okay so all. first and foremost, thank you for all you do when it comes to baseball cards and toy collecting in general. You and your brother have been a huge part of me launching my channel and trying to help others as I am out and about filling holes in my collection. Not only are you an awesome person, I can see you have a true passion for what you do. I myself had a 20 year break in collecting baseball cards, and at 36, I found my way back. I have over 500 wrestling figures and toys in general and enjoy the chase of finding rare items. Enclosed are a few things I picked up that I hope you find use for. One I know for sure you will since we briefly talked about it, but the other item I got and thought it might find a home with you or another subscriber. I will surely keep an eye out for things you may find use for as I tour flea markets, thrift stores, and antique malls with my wife. While we don't know each other well, I consider you a collecting friend and hope to help you in any way I can going forward. You don't need to send me anything back, but my return address is on the front of the envelope if you see anything to do with old school wrestling while you are out and about thank you again and please take a moment to subscribe to hype is here collectibles on youtube That's yeah very please nice. everybody go check out hype is here collectibles if you're not subscribed to them already and um do you want to go through these with them yeah i still do um i still have all those wrestling figures that i picked up in the uh that tote a while back there was some older stuff in there as well hype might be some stuff you'd be interested in there a lot of them were uh early 2000s figures but there were some older ones as well from the 80s at 10 dollars super chat bill sites hey john and Brittany. hope all is going well thank you so much bill thank sites you. welcome back haven't seen you in a while um i know you were experiencing some health issues so hopefully everything is okay bill sites good to see you again man and two dollar super chat from mess of things again says got to head out and start work have fun everyone Thank you very much for mess of things. Have a good night at work. Hopefully it goes quick for you. And we also have some uh, team bags here with cards in them from Hypus here. Can't seem to find a tab on here. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Very nice. Um, 
Not sure what year Topps card this is. Uh, reprint, but uh, nice Clemente there. Very cool. I think these are late 90s. These came out. I don't remember ever pulling these out of the pack, but uh, hometown team, the Buccos and the Clemente here. Very cool. Like that one a lot. And the Mantle 62 Tops. Is this 96 Tops that these came out? I remember pulling these out of a pack. Uh, very cool, though. I actually almost bought this card at a flea market recently. A guy had it for, I think it was like 100 bucks. And I was thinking about pulling the trigger on it. It was between this and 68 Tops. The 68 Tops is in really good, really good condition. Um, I was thinking about picking that one up, too. But I uh, like this card a lot. Very nice. And, of course, the iconic 52 Tops card. Love that card so much. Uh, we saw a good bit of that at the National. Would like to own that someday. I know Eric would like to own it as well. Um, very cool, even though it's a reprint, still a very iconic, cool uh, card to have overall. Like that a lot. And a two-dollar super chat from FTC Family Cards. It says, "Hey John, do you collect micro machines?" Thanks a lot, FTC Family Cards. Um, I don't collect them right now per se, but I really do like them though. Um, I still have all my old micro machines in my parents' attic, and I haven't started going back and rebuying them yet. I should say. If I do, if I would come across them, I'd probably would start buying them again in the packaging. So I guess you could say, uh, you know, if I come across them, I probably would rebuy them. I always liked micro machines a lot when I was younger. So, um, yeah, haven't started yet, but uh, hopefully soon. Thank you very much for that two dollar super chat, FDC Family Cards. Please check him out. Very cool. And another iconic card here for Clemente. Very very cool there. Like that one a lot as well. And our mantle, so a lot of really nice reprints here. Clemente again. And there's the 68 Tops card. The irony of that, another card that I almost bought at the flea market. <coughs> Excuse me, I think this one was 100 bucks too, or around there. It was in really nice shape and had good cores, good centering for the most part too. Not graded or anything though, but you know me, I don't really go for graded cards too often. But um, still very cool overall. Nice reprints here. I like these ones a lot. Very nice stack of cards there, Hype is here. Very nice of you. Don't have too many of those. Pulled a few out of, out of packs when I was younger. And look what we have here. Donnie Baseball rookie card in the back. 84 tops. Very awesome. And there's a Bagwell insert card from Early Pinnacle. Hey, Ivy Mr. E. Welcome to the stream. A Bagwell and double-sided. We got Frank Thomas, the big herd in the back. Very cool. Was a big fan of both those guys in the 90s. And another big hurt. Top's finest card. An early matchup card there. And Chipper Jones rookie card. Very cool. Chipper Jones 91 Top's rookie card. And Donnie Baseball. There is a Donnie Baseball rookie card. Very awesome. Love that card. I think I have one of it. It's a PSA 7 or an 8, I think. And um, it was one of the first cards that I bought whenever I started collecting again, like five or six years ago. I didn't know too much about it. And um, I always wanted to own the card when I was younger and never had it. So I was like, whatever. It was, I think it was like 25 bucks I paid for a PSA seven or eight. Probably got ripped off, but uh, still cool to have it. I don't have a, I don't have a regular unslab one. So pretty awesome. Like that card a lot. Thank you so much. Hype is here. Very generous of you. As Chris Weaver says, um, <clears throat> Awesome cards and awesome stuff here. Please uh, please go check his channel out. Hype is here collectibles. He's in the stream. All you got to do is click and go to the channel and give him a sub. Very cool dude. And uh, he's passionate about the same stuff that Eric and I are passionate about. Or me for the most part. Toys and cards both. Um, old and new. So really awesome stuff. And a $5 super chat from Dallas Foster. says, really appreciate that Bo football baseball card, John. Got it today in the mail along with the 84 Fleer cards. Thank you so much for that $5 Super Chat Dallas Foster. If you're not subbed to him yet, please go and check him out. He is uh, fairly new to the YouTube game as far as making videos. So um, he's got a couple posted. So definitely go check him out. He's a good friend of the channel. <clears throat> and uh, he did a he opened a box of 90 score recently and didn't pull the Bo Jackson card. So I just included one in, the re in his recent break. Always uh, loved that Bo Jackson football baseball card. It was a pretty iconic card back in the day when we were younger. Still kind of sought after by collectors. I feel like a lot of Bo Jackson stuff is for the most part, though. Can you put that in the freezer, please? Mm -hmm. I think I missed a few things because I was rambling on, but I'm going to go back now. I'm sorry, you guys. I got too excited. 
But Chad Hopkins is here too. I'm sorry, Chad Hopkins. I missed that. $2 super chat from Chad Hopkins, a good friend of the channel. It says, John, thanks for that. Thanks again for that buck card. It was great. Well, I'm glad you liked it, man. I uh, I met Chad Hopkins recently at the National. Very cool guy. And um, I sent him a Buck, uh, buck Showalter aut autograph. Pretty stoked that you didn't already have that one in your personal collection. Pretty awesome. And a $2 super chat from Austin Farmer, the collector formerly known as Austin Farmer. It says, Cody has his IPA. I got the Secchies. Fun night in Texas. It sounds like you guys are having a great time in Texas. <laughs> have one for me. I have not been drinking. I kind of took some time off for a couple months there since I uh, started getting headaches. I actually quit altogether, so I've been being a good boy for uh, quite a while now. Hey, Boom Slang. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for the Super Chats. Please check them out. Give them subs. Very, very cool stuff from Hypus here, Collectibles. Thank you again, man. This is awesome, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that sealed and keep it as a collector's item, or I'm going to check it out. I kind of want to rip into it because it looks awesome. And this is really sick, man. Can't thank you enough for that. I've been wanting that for a while, and it's awesome that it's uh, it's complete. Very, very cool stuff. Many thanks, Adam. Check out and see what else we have next. Austin awesome. says, stay sober, John. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Reese says, did I buy any Chris Sabo cards on the National? I didn't need to. I think I have every single Chris Sabo card in existence because everyone sent, sent them to me. <laughs> I don't think I, I think I have one of every single one of them. <clears throat> Next up, we have one from Boom Slang. I saw him just jumped in here. <clears throat> Boom Slang is friend of the channel. Has been for a while. Boom Slang. And Boom Slang has a channel as well. He's getting close to 500 subs. So when you see his name pop up, you should give him a sub. He's been doing a lot of videos lately. Um, a lot of pack rips. His most recent one he did was uh, 2019 Stadium Club. So he does a lot of variety on there. Check out and see what Boom Slang said. It, whoa, what is this? See some more packs in here. And there's a note as well. And it says, Hi, John. First off, I want to thank you for the card you sent me. I do love my Yankees and the two Jeters I didn't have for my PC. Well, that's awesome, man. I was hoping you'd have those ones. So thanks for that. And now for another friend mail Friday, here's something I got from a box lot I bought a month or so ago. And the cards are from last Sunday's. July 28th, 19, flea market, fines. I paid a little more than usual, but it's all good. I hope you enjoy the gift, and of course, any Yankees in return will be great, and I will make a video of your return mail on my channel. I'm having a 500-sub giveaway, and I'm currently at 413 at the time of this letter. And for those of your followers who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel, let's all grow together and help me offload this massive box of stuff in my giveaway. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. Thank you for all you do for the hobby and the fine work both you and your brother do. I hope you get your medical issues ironed out and everything turns out okay. Thanks, Mickey, a.k.a. Boomslang. Thank you very much for the kind words. If you are not sub the Boomslang, please check him out. Uh, like he said, he's a 413er, was, and he is heading towards 500 for a big giveaway. Massive box of stuff. So I'm curious to check that out. Please give him a sub you haven't. And what else do we have in here? It looks like an older G.I. Joe figure. I think I used to have one. Actually, it's this is a Star Wars figure. This is an older Star Wars figure. Um, I th I'm pretty sure. From 98. Yes, this is from um, Star Wars, the, what is this, from the uh, special edition in 98, I believe. This is pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever come across this before. Very cool. Very cool. I was thinking it was one of the G.I. Joe figures um, that I've come across before in the past. But uh, I like that a lot, man. Thank you for thinking of me when you saw that. Uh, never come across this before. Like that a lot, man. Dallas Foster's Boom Slang is a good dude. Definitely, man. That is awesome. And we also have some cards here, too. T2, one of my favorite movies ever, Terminator 2. Love that movie. Death Watch 2000. Uh, Death Mate. Wolverine cards. And some Superman cards. 
Very cool. Um, let's rip open uh, this T2 pack. I haven't seen these cards in a long time. I think it's like probably the best, one of the best movie intros of all time. LA 2029. Such a sick card. Very cool stuff from the early 90s there. Chris Lewis is very cool stuff you said on Boom Slang. It definitely was, man. I was not expecting that at all um, in this card box. I was expecting there to be cards in there, more cards in there. And there's a Star Wars figure. Very, very awesome stuff. Very cool surprise, Boom Slang. I definitely have some stuff uh, to send you out. I know you're a Yankees fan. I know you're a Jeter fan. So I'll be getting something out to you uh, real soon. Like I said, please sub the Boom Slang. Very cool guy. And I think you'll enjoy his videos. And he puts a lot of them out there, too. So you uh, will always have new content to watch. Very cool. Thanks again, Boom Slang. You want to do the next one? Bring Brittany back to do uh, Thunder One. Let's do the one from Legion. You want to do this one? Sure. You want to hang on to this buddy? Uh, he's got his wing around again. <laughs> and we got another special guest here for all you guys. Charlie! Charlie, say what's up. Charlie, did you say what's up to everybody? You're being hey, rude. Buddy. You're being rude, it's man. Sorry. You didn't say hi to everybody. Hi. Char Charlie, you're wrecking the place. You're wrecking the whole studio. <laughs> you're wrecking the whole studio. He's like, he's like all right. So Charlie made his uh, third or fourth debut here. And <laughs> Charlie. What, bud? What do you want this Don Manley rookie card? You into that? He's into it. <laughs> There's Charlie. He had to make an appearance. Uh, <laughs> Brittany's gonna. Uh, Brittany's gonna open the next package. Everybody loves him. Pretty dog. Yeah, he's great. Next one's from Legion. Another friend of the channel. Charlie. Oof. Charlie. All right, John made it out of the room, finally. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I guess where's my where's my trusty card that I can cover things up with? Oh, there it is. Okay, so like he said, from Legion. <clears throat> I don't want to show his address. How do you do this without showing people's addresses and you have to cut it open on camera? You gotta hold the card over there and slice it open on camera. Are you serious? Yeah. What kind of Just slice it open trickery you is you this? Have to slice it open on camera. Well, it's not like you're planting like stuff in there. Well, <laughs> like you're planting like a five hundred dollar bill in there and then say like we can send a five hundred dollar bill. <laughs> well, five hundred dollar bill doesn't even exist. Well, you never know. So now that you have it open, you cut it open off camera. Thank you, Jonathan H. Yep, that's what he told me to do now. So there's starting lines in there though. It's pretty sick. Charlie. He's upset. He's, he's pissed. He wants to go back on camera again. Yeah, he's really upset. All right. Aw, from John at $1.99 Super Chat. Who's a good dog? Who's that from? John Aggies. Oh, from John A. Yeah. Thank you, John A. Um, Thank you very much. <laughs> Michael Green said, your manicure looks great, John. <laughs> okay, so hey, John, I put this, Charlie. I put together for you this random box. Hope Charlie. your headaches are better by the time it reaches you. The clear clams are for your mail day returns and are sorted by player. No need to go through them on camera. The Han Solo is kind of weird. It appears to be a no country of origin LFL, but I know where it came from. My grandmother had a tourist shop in the late 80s, and she had a bulk box of these loose, no cards, no accessories. I have no idea if it's legit or not. I saved a few since I didn't play with them. I was a G.I. Joe kid. So here's one for you. 
There's also some other 80s, 90s stuff I thought you might enjoy or pass on to some other patrons' viewers. Thanks for keeping an eye out for the Tonka Steel Monsters. It doesn't matter to me if they are beat up. I can custom paint them. It's worth it to me to pay to have them shipped if you're willing to look. Thanks for the great videos. Oh, that was nice. Thank you very much, Legion. All right. Sounds like an awesome package. Ah. Sounds like a really awesome package. We got a big box of stuff. Okay, you know these better than I do. Nice. So starting lineup. A McGuire starting Mark lineup. McGuire. Very cool. It's in like perfect condition too. Nice. Oh, I got excited. I thought that was a Hills sticker. What, yeah, but, what is that? Uh, it's a sale. A A F E S. Huh. I've never right. heard of it. That's in like pristine condition too. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, I'll put that over here. I don't know if it's late. Oh, nice. Donnie baseball. Don Mattingly nice. starting lineup. That's a really nice one. Very nice. And then, oh, there's a bunch of stuff, buddy. I don't know what these things are. Little, oh, is this the Han Solo he mm -hmm. was talking about? That's the one, no, the No Country of Origin. That's and Mark pretty Davis. Sick. That is pretty awesome. <clears throat> and then these Some little. Some cool Star Wars stuff tonight. Little, I'm probably just calling them really generic things. Helicopter, I don't know what that's to. <laughs> Little cars, those are cute. Are those, mi are those micro machines? I, I don't know. How I can you? Those are micro machines. How can you tell? Those are definitely micro machines. Did he? Did those are no. Those, those, those are definitely micro machines. I haven't seen them in a very, very long time, but uh, those are those are no doubt about my micro machines. Speaking of micro machines, we asked about those earlier, actually. Very awesome stuff, though. And then I've you not, got I've, some... I haven't looked at my micro machines in so long. I haven't seen them in so long, either. Garbage Pail Kids. Nice. I don't I don't know if it's all... Eric used to have Garbage Pail Kids, and then uh, our mom made him burn, burn them or throw them in the fireplace. Yeah, it's all Garbage like Pail. The, like the ladies. I know, they're upside down, guys. Sick. Right. Those are, I think those are original ones, too. You're not even looking at them. Well, it, am I supposed to? You should. <laughs> those are originals. <laughs> Well, Stone Stan, Galloping Glen, Tatum Pole, King Size Kevin. I wasn't allowed to look at those when I was a kid, so another I have to look Tatum at them now. Pole, Frankenstein, Dwight Bite, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Bruised Lee, another Bruised Lee, Eerie Eric, another Eerie Eric, Marvin Gardens, Stare and Darren. That's really creepy. Mugged Marcus, saw oh, he got beat up. Still Jill, that's extra creepy. And Hugh Mungus. Oh, I like it. I get it. Hugh Mungus. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Those are awesome, though. Those are definitely originals. Uh, nice. Oh, wow. T cards. There's a bunch of stuff in here, buddy. Here, you want to take Charlie back? Yeah, because I can't go through all that like you can. Oh, you got crap everywhere in here. No, you do. Knocking everything over as I try Awesome to stuff so over. far. Legion, very cool. A $2 dollars super chat from Cody Martin says, those cards are literally sick. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah, those are really cool. Um, I, I, they look to be originals. I have not seen the new ones yet, but uh, yeah, they definitely are. 1986, no doubt about it. Like I said before, uh, our, our mom made Eric burn those in like the late 80s. I don't think I was allowed to look at them when I was two years old in 86. So very cool stuff to see them now. But uh, we got a big box full of cards here and singles. So let's check out, see what we have here. Hey, Mark Davis. We have the uh, classic Nolan Ryan Coke cards from 92. Or there's one on here. It's kind of cool. Um forget what these came in. Samuel Moose says, any Mark McGuire's, funny you ask, we just uh, we just showed this a minute ago, uh, Mark McGuire starting lineup figure. Um, pinpoint a year here, 1989, I thought it was late 80s, 1989 McGuire, so pretty early on in his career. Yeah, I forget where you got these from, but uh, these small Coke packs, maybe there's a Donner's Elite card in here, that'd be pretty sick. So the Nolan Ryan Coke card here, 24-26. Mike Harkey, Jose De Leon, and Ellis Burks. Kind of cool, neat little uh, novelty pack there. Here's a Conseco pack. People will go nuts over this. 
Knots. Darren Star Carter Entertainment says Coke 12 packs. That sounds about right. Thank you for that info. Um, Pepsi, Conseco cards. Pretty cool novelty item there as well. I'm sure people will flip out over that. And Oli Mays, Corn Flakes card. Um, Sport Flakes kind of deal. No more. Pinnacle card from the mid 90s. A cool Will Clark card. Picture Perfect with Randy Johnson. And here's a nice vintage card Astro Aces. Very nice. Bob Aspermonte and Rusty Staub. And a $5 super chat from Gore Made. It says, got a few plunks on my channel. Is there even enough insurance available to ship them off the PSA safely? Would love help getting subs. Do it for a plunk. <laughs> Thanks so much, Gore Made. Please uh, go check out Gore Made. Give him a sub if you would. Very, very hilarious super chat there. I, uh, I definitely will give you, a, uh, give you a sub as soon as the video ends. And funny you say that because the outside of the box that Legion made <laughs> is sporting an Eric, an anti-Eric Plunk symbol here, in case you guys didn't see that before. <laughs> hashtag ain't no plug, Plunk, hashtag common killer. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. So please check out Gore Made, if you would. Help him uh, grow his channel. Very nice of you for that $5 Super Chat. I'll do the same once the live stream is over. And $2 Super Chat and Baltimore Box Breakers is Daryl Strawberry Coke Cards with Mirror and $20 Bill. That is too funny, man. <laughs> Thank you for that. And 357 Mag with $2 Super Chat is Card Saver versus Top Loader. Your thoughts? I always go Top Loader. loader. I, don't, I do not like uh, the Card Savers. I, mean, I think they're okay temporarily. But uh, maybe I'm just too rough on my cards, and uh, I always have been. Plus, I feel like the card savers are more expensive. Anywhere that I've seen them, card savers are always like four bucks for a pack of them, and top letters usually anywhere I go are always two bucks. So generally, uh, I usually always go top loader myself. But that is uh, that's my thoughts on a very cool vintage uh, card here. I like that one a lot. Didn't have that one either in my PC. And we have another uh, Corn Flakes card, Yogi Berra here. Nice one as well from Legion. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to go uh, have to go top loader all the way. It's what I've always uh, always been into. A ton of singles in here. A ton. It's going to take us forever to go through these. And we have a, a box, a wax box, a TMNT, a bunch of random novelties. I be Mr. Reese's, what are card savers? Card savers are the flimsy top loaders. See how it says Card Saver 3 on there? Or Card Saver 2. Um, but, I mean, you can see how flimsy they are. I mean, this would be good, I guess, if you're mailing in, like, a, a plain white envelope and you're going to put, you know, send it non-machinable. Then that would be okay, I guess, if you want to keep it under an ounce. But you can send top loaders uh, in a plain envelope, non-machinable as well, same thing. Throw a piece of tape over it. But I guess with these, you don't really have to put a piece of tape over it. Plus, I worry about these... Uh, Nicking, nicking corners up too when you when you slot them in there but just my my thoughts on it no problem i mean i be mr e i think i missed a super chat from somebody else maybe not but uh a lot of stuff in here from legion very very cool of you man yeah, entire wax box here chet lemon says a soft corner only gets worse after sticking in a card saver I can definitely agree with that. There's a, some Beckett's in here too. Very cool. Nice uh, Smoltz card there. Very cool. Bo Jackson Beckett. Here's a nice one too. I don't remember ever seeing this one. Nolan Ryan on the front of it from 92. Very awesome. I'm trying to get my older Beckett collection back up to par i i had a lot of them i still have some but uh, i don't i think i lost a lot as well and there's a five dollar super chat from jonathan h he says believe it or not you can mail single card in card saver without doing non-machinable no additional posts. it's risky but it can be done well thank you very much for that super chat and for that info did not know that and a five dollar super chat from dallas foster says tim english says that token that was sent is the 100th anniversary of the statue of liberty in ellis island that's pretty awesome the one that uh dream big production sent that's a pretty iconic uh token then for any of you guys that uh missed out on that earlier 
Dream Big sent us that. Very, very cool stuff. We have a lot uh, to check out here from Legion. We have two more packages left. I know Eric is going to be live pretty soon, so I'll try to go through this stuff pretty quickly. There's a Pete Rose card here. Um, very cool. 1983 Tops All Star set. Never seen that one before. Nice one there. And another Pete Rose. Another nice one here. Very nice. So two Pete Rose cards on top there and a bunch of Turtles packs. We'll get to those in a minute here. And I see a Reggie Jackson poster. From Kellogg's. This is sick, man. I'm not sure where you found this at. It's a vintage Reggie Jackson Kellogg's poster. I feel like I kind of remember these. From 93. I feel like I may have had one of these hanging up in my room at one point. I don't know if it was this exact one. Hey, Chris Cards. Welcome to the stream. Very awesome vintage poster here from Kellogg's. Love getting the older stuff like that. I have a few of those other ones. I'm trying to figure out where to hang them up at. It's like the older baseball card posters from like Stadium Club. Dave Ringo wants to see the first Pete Rose again. Yeah, that, uh, the front of that card is uh, interesting. Very cool info. Thank you for that, uh, Tim English. Looking that up. But we have some Beckett's here, and we have a bunch of cards in cases. I'm not going to read off every single one of them. But it looks like this is like the Clemens case. But we have some 80s and 90s Clemens cards here. Austin says Pete, Pete looks so uncomfortable. He does. He definitely does. It's that kind of like mullet bolt cut. <laughs> it's just <laughs> very uncomfortable. Some 92 Leaf. 91 Fleer insert card. It's a nice one. It's like I pulled out of a pack not too long ago. It's a nice one. Kmart card. Some more 89 Tops. A bunch of Clemens cards. Some newer ones here from the late 90s. Here's a nice one, 97 Bowman. I'd like to do a break on those at some point. Looking for the Beltry rookie card. It's a nice Fleer insert. Some more 89 tops, 90 tops. Bunch of Clemens. Always like Roger Clemens. <laughs> Dallas Foster says that was Pete's way of giving tribute to the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Very cool first case there of Clemens cards from Legion. And we have a McGuire case. And a $2 super chat from Legion says, no need to go through the clams for you to give. Okay, well, we'll save them though um, and give them away. But there's a McGuire one. We'll check out at least what's here. Oral Hershiser. So a lot of star players, Hall of Famers, Wade Boggs, came on the back. And here's a nice one, Nolan Ryan. 81 Tops card. Nice one. Canseco Clam. People will fight and kill over that one. <laughs> All Canseco cards. And Donnie Baseball. Another nice one there, too. A lot of good stuff here. Thanks so much, Legion. Bobby Bow. I'm guessing these are all buckos or just all, all Bobby Bow cards. He's got his million bucks not too long ago. Barry Bonds, another nice one there. Always love Barry Bonds. Same with my brother. And as a Brett, all Brett cards, nice as well. And Will the Thrill Clark. Very cool stuff. And a whole box of TMNT trading cards from 88 or 89. I can't remember exactly what year or series these are. But uh, I think this is like the second box these I have, but I'm not sure what the other series I have is. Very cool, 89. Very sweet stuff. Like those a lot. Big TMNT fan. And we have a bunch of Beckett's. This one I don't remember at all, but very cool. With uh, Nolan Ryan on the front, January 92. Issue number 82. Very awesome. Like that one a lot. Don't think I ever owned that one. And Bo Jackson for November 91. A lot of Bo fans there. Hojo's on the back. To throw these in magazine sleeves. I definitely remember seeing this one when I was younger. May 89. Clemente in the front. And there's Conseco on the back. Very cool. So some older ones here too. Very cool. 91. The old school design there. Cecil Field in the front. 
Barry Larkin in the back. And here's a nice one, too. I think Eric picked this one up not too long ago. November 1990 with Bonds and the 86 Tops credit card in the front. Sandy Almar. Really doing big things back then. And some comics. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Very awesome. Love that movie. Very cool. And I don't have this one either in my PC, so very uh, cool cover there, too. Love that scene in the movie. In the catacombs. And another one, too, this is part one. So it's a four-part series, so he sent me one and two. Very awesome. I like that a lot. And a Nolan Ryan in the winning pitch for Frosted Flakes. Huh. Pretty awesome stuff. Very cool uh, comic here, too. Can't say I've ever seen this before. Nice one, though. Thanks so much, Legion. Very cool package of just awesome baseball memorabilia here. There's a Brett a Beckett from 91. Brett on the front. Kevin Moss. The big prospect, Kevin Moss. And the last one here, uh, Nolan Ryan Beckett from 1990. Very cool stuff. And Dave Justice on the back. Truth be told, if you were here, you would be pumped about that. Very cool. What an awesome package. Thanks so much, Legion. Um, very, very cool stuff in there. I definitely keep an eye out for those Tonga Steel Monsters. I've not seen any of those yet. They are super rare, but uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye out for them. And that Brett Hall card, too, if I come across it. Like I said, I was looking forward to at the National for you and didn't see it, but my eyes are open for it. Thank you for all the awesome stuff. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be in touch very soon, man. Very soon. And we have two boxes left. And uh, we'll do a Kahoot at the end. I, th I, I did like a quick four-question quiz. I haven't done one in a while. I want to give you guys some cards, too. You guys have been awesome. Um, so we'll do... I usually do Dan Schultz's package last, but I'll switch it up. We'll save Jonathan H's pack package for last. <laughs> but Dan Schultz, very good friend of the channel. Very great guy. He's been checking in with me like... Almost daily, um, my headaches and everything. Um, and he's been sending, he's been sending uh, packages for months now. Every Friday, he sends a package. So, very, very cool guy. And Dan is based out of North Carolina. So, safe travels to you, Dan. I know you're out traveling, so I don't think he's in here. But let me slash this open off camera. And we will rip open the last package from Jonathan Hall which I think he said is half troll. <laughs> and we'll check out Eric's live stream. Let's see what Dan Schultz sent. And it looks like we have another box, 89 Don Russ. Last week, Dan sent us a box of 94 Leaf, and I think two boxes 89 Don Russ, I wanna say. And here he comes with another box of 89 Don Russ. Amazing. Dave Durango says Dan Schultz rules. He definitely does, man. I see a bunch of Nolan Ryan cards in here and some older stuff, too. I see a Deion Sanders 89 top straight rookie card. Very cool. And a patch relic. Auto. Very cool stuff off the bat here. And I see 96 Studio. Whoa, this is one I do not see ever. I don't even remember what these cards look like. 96 Studio? Look for individually numbered chase sets and canvas cards. Wow, I want to, I really want to open these up because I, I don't remember ever seeing these. This is kind of like right at the tail end of my collecting days. 24 packs, sealed box. Very cool box to send in, Dan. Um, thank you very much for that. Uh, I cannot wait to check those out at some point. And we have 89 Don Russ, like I said. I think he sent two boxes of 89 Don Russ last week, which is amazing. I think he sent two more, too. Very cool. I think at one point, very soon, we're going to do a free break on 89 Don Russ. Um, since all you guys are always getting me, I'm going to get back to you more. And we'll do, you know, some free spots. And just uh, do like a free break Friday or something like that. But 89 Don Russ is awesome. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's like the height of the junk wax era. But still some good rookie cards in there. Some good Hall of Famers rookie cards in there as well. But uh, kind of takes you back. 
even though a lot of people hate them. I still don't mind them. After all these years of ripping 89 Don Russ, I still can open packs of those and not get, like, angry. Now, 1990 Don Russ, 1991 Fleer, 1991 Don Russ, that's a different story. But 89 Don Russ still have a soft spot for them. I still like them. Still like that set. Still has a lot of good rookie cards in it. Especially the Griffey card. Griffey, Biggio, Smoltz. Kurt Schilling. It's an awesome set. I like it. For the Junk Wax era, I think it's a good set. And we got a lot of singles in here. Jonathan H. says, I've opened more 89 Don Russ than I'd like to admit and never pulled a Griffey. That's pretty crazy, man. We have a piece of clothing in here. We'll check that out, too. But there's two boxes of 89 Don Russ. I'm pretty sure he sent two last week. Yeah, he definitely sent two last week. So four boxes of 89 Don Russ now Dan Schultz. That's really awesome. Very generous of you, man. Yeah, like I said, I'd like to do maybe do a free break on one of those boxes at some point here. Courtesy of Dan Schultz. And these are in nice shape, too. Very nice shape. Chasing the Griffey. Since we did not find the Griffey in the 89 upper deck. And we have a nice uh, 93 Toys R Us uh, exclusive baseball card set here. Very awesome. Young stars, rookie stars, and future stars. So I'm about you, Piazza, and uh, several others were in there as well. I'm not going to open that right now, but I'm definitely going to check that out after the video is over. Very cool stuff. Dan Schultz is always hooking it up with amazing stuff. We have singles to look at. Let me take a step back here. It's too much stuff. My, my, my toy room is overflowing with stuff. I have nowhere to put anything anymore. Garrett Frick says, hey, all glad I found a channel. Thank you very much for checking it out, man, and hanging out with us. Really appreciate that. This is pretty sick, too. An older Pinnacle Home Run Club set. And one of 200,000 sets, each set contained a numbered certificate of limited production. And 200,000 sets back in the 90s was definitely considered very limited, I know, nowadays. And cards are numbered. People are looking for one-of-ones or one-of-threes or whatever else. But uh, back then, you were looking for Donruss Elite cards that were one out of 10,000. <laughs> but uh, a bunch of heavy hitters in here, too. Very, very cool. 1993 Pinnacle. And I missed some Super Chats. Forgive me, guys. 357 again with a super chat for two bucks. Said, John, congrats on 4,000 subs, buddy. Thank you very much. I didn't even know I hit 4,000 subs. Really appreciate that and appreciate all your guys' support. You guys are awesome. Very, very awesome of you. Um, very cool set here. Like this a lot. Tons of heavy hitters in here. 48 cards. Home Run Club. Never seen that before. Thanks so much, Dan. You always uh, send very cool stuff, man, and stuff that I've never seen before. Pinnacle and that Toys R Us baseball set. And we have some singles here. A piece of clothing. It looks like a Jack. Wow, this is sick, man. Whoa. Look at this jacket. It's a windbreaker, which I've been looking for a new windbreaker. The one I have is torn and tattered that I got at Salvation Army for like two bucks a while ago. I need to get a better shot of this. Hey, Brittany. Yeah. You can come in here and help me open some of these. This is, uh, Dan sent us a Ghostbusters jersey recently. Wow. This is pretty sick. This is a Ghostbusters windbreaker here from Dan wow. Schultz. I love that. It's a 2XL, too, so it's perfect size, and it has the No Ghost logo on the back here. If you guys can see that very awesome uh windbreaker here so thank you so much dan schultz i'll definitely be uh probably wearing that <laughs> every single day man that is sick i like the color of that too garrett says don't cross the streams definitely do not want to cross the streams man very cool windbreaker awesome stuff and we got some singles yet too so we're not done yet pretty rad uh rad windbreaker there so, team bags. You want? You can open John and H package. He didn't want me to open his package. He'll probably be thrilled if you go through that. <laughs> no, he said it's for you. We got some vintage cards in here, too. There's a nice Nolan Ryan. I actually used to have that card. I sent it to Jonathan H. So, now I have that back on my PC again. Thank you very much for that. Phil Necro and Nolan Ryan. Two Hall of Famers. Very nice card there. Like that one a lot. In nice shape, too. Dan Schultz. And there's the patch relic we saw early, the auto patch relic, 186 out of 219. Another nice one there. Philip Pfeiffer III from the national team. 
And there's the Sanders, eight on tops, traded rookie card. I don't know if I had that one or not on uh, my PC. I have the set, but I don't think I have the single card. <laughs> Two hours super chat from John and H. Very smart, Brittany. Save it for John. He does not want you over that package at all. He does not want you getting into that. <laughs> Thank you for that super chat, man. And here's an older pinnacle card with Nolan Ryan and Jim Abbott. The Idols collection. I used to like those cards a lot when I was younger. S. Depp says, is anyone here the gatekeeper? Got to be a gatekeeper and a key master here. A Sosa rookie card from 90 Upper Deck. Nice one. Carlos Cortez. First Bowman card. Lori Tejada. Nice one. Didn't have any of his. Zach Wheeler. Did not have any of his rookie cards. Anthony Rendon. That's a nice one, too. Did not have his rookie card, either. Very nice one. That is 2013 Tops. Tops update, actually. Very nice. Wow. That and the Zach Wheeler did not have either one of those. Very cool. And a nice Pete Rose here, too. Never seen this one. Another uh, kind of like odd-looking Pete Rose card. It's a very weird look on his face. Like weird Pete Rose card night here <laughs> on this channel. Especially with the other one there, too. But very nice card, though, overall. I like that one. Here's a nice one. 62 Tops, I believe. Harmon Kilbrew from 62 Tops? It is. Never seen this card before. Kilbrew sends one into orbit. That is a nice card, man. like that a lot. Very cool. Harry Cheaty. Hal Smith, so some nice vintage. Dick Grote, 61 Tops. Jerry Walker, 61 Tops. And... A two-dollar super chat from John H. Again, it says, "Let's be honest. Is there a non? <laughs> is there a non-weird Pete Rose?" <laughs> you got a good point there, man. <laughs> you got a good point there, man. I'd, I'd have to agree with you on that. Thank you very much for that. A uh, Pete Reichard and Alfonso Soriano um, relic here. This is pretty interesting. Can't say I've ever seen this before. Take me out of the ball game. That's a cool one. Cracker Jack. Relic here. Very cool. Like that one a lot. Jackie Bradley Jr. Leather and Lumber. Auto. And this is 12 out of 25. Another nice one. Gary Siegel says, Eric just sent me a Dick Road Auto from Kahoot. That's pretty awesome. Jackie Bradley Jr. That is a nice one. Another auto. Stephen Crichton. Or Crichton. 10 out of 100. That's a nice one, too, from, uh, what is that, Don Russ Elite or Panini Elite? Panini Elite from 2016. And it's an auto. like that one a lot. I, I don't think I've ever seen the autos in these Elite. I can't remember. Maybe uh, Dan Schultz sent me an auto before on those. Um like those a lot, though. That set's pretty awesome. I feel like he always sends me the Elite cards, but I can't remember if there was an auto in there or not. Johnny Cueto. That's a nice relic right there. And it's from Topps Holiday. Johnny Cueto. Very nice. A lot of nice cards here. And we have some older Topps cards. Looks like from 2013, I believe. And they're all rookie cards. All rookie cards. Very cool of you, Dan Schultz. Dan Schultz is always uh, hooking it up. Very nice. Some nice ones in here. A Jerickson profile. I don't think I had that one either. Adam Eaton on top of this one. 2013 tops. You Darvish, that's a nice one. Didn't have that one. There's another Jerickson Pro 4. Jake Odorizzi, another nice one. There's some nice uh, nice rookie cards in here. Very nice of you, Dan Schultz. Like I said, I don't think Dan's in here. Trevor Rosenthal, that's a nice one too. Very cool uh, rookie cards there. Very cool stuff in general. Dan Schultz. Like I said, uh, anytime that... Uh, there's something you're looking for. Let me know, man. I'd be happy to uh, send you something in return. Get something out to you. You're always sending great stuff my way, man. 
like I said, keep a lookout because sometime in the future, we're definitely going to do a uh, free break Friday video or something along those lines for A9 Don Russ. And no charge, no charge for shipping, no charge for spots, nothing. Just free, free, free. Let me give them back to you. Dan Schultz is a super generous guy. It's four boxes of A9 Don Russ he sent me now. Uh, amazing stuff. And then I like these novelty sets too. Very, very cool. And we have one more box left from none other than Jonathan Hall. Jonathan Hall, who is still in here, I think. I'm sure you guys know Jonathan Hall. And are all subbed to him. His YouTube channel is Jonathan Hall. And he is the world's number one Bernard Yoki fan. So, if you have any Bernard, Bernard Yoki stuff, set it his way, and he will love you for it. <laughs> A two-hour super chat from none other than Jonathan H. <laughs> That's it. That is just, uh, he's blushing right now because he is so honored that uh, he's going to be getting a ton of mail with Bernard Kilke stuff. <laughs> and there's that evil laugh again from John H. Dear John, I ran out of painter's tape. I can only imagine what is in here. <laughs> Dylan Mel says, Jonathan H, oh no, you're at 666 subs. Uh-oh, someone better... Get him over to 667. What do we have in here? A lot of packing peanuts. I don't, I don't even know if I want to know. Someone sub quick. <laughs> Whoa, this is, looks pretty cool. Last package of the night, and then uh, shooting over to Eric's stream, which is probably live now, I'm sure. A lot of cards in sleeves here. Bunch of crime dogs. Might have seen last week where John H sent me the crime dog autograph. It was pretty awesome. Have it sitting next to me. These packing pants will be the death of me one day. Wow, this is a nice one. Digging through the packing pants. A 2001 Topps gold label. A rod. And it's a nine mint. That is a nice looking card. Very nice from Advanced Grading. Very nice A Rod. Topps Gold Label. Never had any of those when I was uh, back in that uh, that day and age. Wasn't collecting back then, but I don't even know if I've seen that set. Nice A Rod there. Two dollar super chat from Cody Martin that says John and H abuses super chats. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. So we still have more sleeves in here. John Lynch really taking advantage of the fact that I don't have fingernails because these are really hard to pull out of here. <laughs> Two dollar super chat from John says, no he doesn't. Okay, I finally reached the bottom of this box. And weird uh, sticky note with the number six on it. I'm not sure what that omen is. It's some sort of weird sign. All right. We've dove to the bottom of that ravine, only to bring back something that I'm not sure if I want to find out what this is. And a bunch of sleeves. Let's check these out, see what these are. I see a bunch of big hurt cards, which is always a good thing. Always like Frank Thomas. Can't go wrong with a bunch of Frank Thomas cards, especially in the 90s. Like those a lot. A lot of these I don't have and have never seen before. It's a pretty awesome one. Older Fleer Ultra cards and Pacific too. Cool sheet there. Do we have any of those? 2001 Tops. I used to love that card, the 94 Tops. I always thought that was a cool card. 95 Tops. I used to love that set too. And 2001 Tops. Up there, up top. A lot of Thomas cards. The uh, 92 year old play, Thomas is a little kid. The big bat card. I, think that, I thought that card was really funny when I was a little, was a little kid. 95 over deck. There's a lot of cards from uh, my collecting days on here, which is really cool to see these again. 
always liked this 92 Tops card. For whatever reason, I just thought it was a cool card with all the balls sitting next to him there. The Contrast or something of that card I thought was really neat. And that one as well, the 92 Fleer. The uh, Stick of Dynamite in his bat there. Really sweet card. Who didn't like Frank Thomas in the 90s, you know? Everyone liked Frank Thomas. And then the, the Frank Thomas insert set 93 Leaf. That was really cool, too. Very cool stuff here. Thank you very much, Jonathan H., for these. I'm guessing you broke a box of 93 Leaf recently and pulled a bunch of these Frank Thomas cards. Very neat stuff. I like these a lot. Luckily, you didn't have any uh, paper loss. It doesn't look like on these 93 Leaf because... Uh, I feel like the ones I go through are always destroyed. And a two dollar super chat from Austin Farmer, the collector formerly known as Austin Farmer, says thanks John for taking that Aroid off my hands from him. So <laughs> this Aroid was originally from Austin Farmer, sent to Jonathan H, who then re-gifted it to me. <laughs> thanks a lot for that two dollar super chat, man. That is hysterical. And this is pretty cool. Ninety four Leaf statistical standouts. Dan Schultz sends a box of those. I like that set a whole lot. With the pack of those recently and pulled a Wong Gonzalez out of it. So a lot of big hurt cards here. Pretty freaking awesome. Got all the big hurt. It's a nice one. Special edition too. And then Crime Dog. And for any of you guys that didn't see the video last Friday, uh, John H. sent us this autograph McGriff ball. Very, very awesome stuff. I was having a heck of a time trying to read, uh, read what it was, and I was actually reading it upside down before. But now I can actually see the Fred and the McGriff on there. <laughs> Boom Slang says, Tis the season for regifting. <laughs> very cool stuff. A bunch of crime dogs who personally I think should be in the Hall of Fame. I think Crime Dog definitely deserves it. $5 Super Chat from John H. I actually bought those and the McGriff baseball off a private collection along with the Mo Vaughn auto that I sent to Dave Durango. That's pretty awesome. Very cool stuff. So these are all from a private seller. More uh, Big Hurts there. Second year cards, 91 Don Russ, 91 Fleer. And uh, more from McGriff cards. A lot of them here in sleeves. Very cool stuff. Lou Rock's channel has agreed. Crime Dog is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's definitely a Hall of Famer in my book. 90 Leaf. Love 90 Leaf. Dom Jesus Christmas in August. <laughs> Very cool. And some more sleeves here with uh, the Big Hurt. Here's a McGuire one. Nice one. The 87 Tops card. And Chris Weaver says, awesome super chat. John H. Very cool. Uh, fine. He made that collection. Garrett Frick says, I want to see a 93 Tops finest box break. I would love to do one, man. Uh, I saw uh, like one or two boxes. Those are the national. Boxes of 93 finest sell are about $800 a box now. They're about $800 a box because of the scarcity of them. They only made 4,000 cases of 91 or 93 finest. So only 4,000 4, 4, cases of those. And the refractors are worth a ton of money. Very expensive stuff, but. Maybe if this channel ever gets, like, you know, decently big to the point where people want to do, like, high-end breaks, like, very high-end breaks where there's, <laughs> I don't know, $100 pack spots. If someone would want to do that for 93 Finest, I don't know if anyone would want to do that or not. Like, Eric does the, you know, older breaks where people buy packs for $100 a piece. If it ever gets to that level, then uh, I would definitely do 93 Finest. I think that'd be sick because those are packs that I never bought when I was a kid because you couldn't afford them because of how scarce they were. I definitely had a bunch of those cards. I used to buy grab bags from a local card shop, and the guy always put the commons in there in, like, uh, penny sleeves. Todd Beast is only 4,000 cases. That's one-tenth of the, the 88 Don Ross run. <laughs> yeah, for real. And then we have something in uh, zip tie here. John H. definitely did not want this to escape. And... This is pretty cool. Donruss Award winner's Big Hurt. American League MVP. This is awesome, and it's numbered two. Six of ten is a set. From 93 Leaf, did you pull this out of a box, John H.? 
3,824 to 10,000. So they loved the number 10,000 back in the early 90s. They were making everything out of 10,000. Very cool. Gary Seals is only 40,000. No, only 4,000 Topps Finest cases were made. For 93 Finest, 4,000. Box Topper Boom Slings. That's what I thought. Very cool stuff, though. 3,824 out of 10,000. It's a nice collectible. I like that a lot. About to, Everything next to me is about to collapse. Leaning Tower of Pisa or baseball cards over here. It's all going down. Private set as well over here. Some, uh, I think these are 87, I want to say. 87 Don Russ, like bear cards. Doc Gooden. Very cool stuff. I like these uh, protecting cases too. I wonder if you can buy like, stacks of these. And we have one more thing here left from Jonathan H. In this package of mystery. Todd Beast is a big card. Look nice autographed. They definitely would. And this thing is... The day drinkers is Ling Tower Piazza. <laughs> Jordan Fordyce is in my stream. What's up, Jordan? Didn't see you pop in here unless you just did, man. Welcome, man. So this thing was never ever going to escape from here. I don't know if I want to know what is in here, Jonathan H., Joseph C. says, I heard rumors that some early 90s releases made 20 million of each card, so 4,000 cases is super low. I definitely heard that as well. Can only imagine what's in here. It's probably a bunch of Eric Plunk cards and Chris Sabos. <laughs> Chet Lemons says, need more zip ties. I can only imagine what awaits me in this package. And like I said, stick around. After this package, we're doing a, uh, we'll do a Kahoot giveaway. I got some cards lined up. I haven't done one in a while, so we have some card savers here. And some older stuff from 84 Tops. 83 Tops, I believe. Mr. October there. That's a nice one. And another one of him. All-Star card. That's a nice one, too. O OPG. These are OPG cards as well. Even more difficult to track down. I'm not sure where you found these at, John H. If you bought a box, you not. But uh, $2 Super Chat from John H. The packaging itself was a troll. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, man. So that was the troll. And now here's the treasure. OPG 83 Tops cards. These are really nice, man. I've never seen these or, or owned any OPG from 83 Tops. Rod Carew, Johnny Bench. All Hall of Famers, too. Rod Carew. Very nice. Tony Perez. Molitor. Steve Garvey. Seaver. Another Seaver. Veteran card. Palmer. Another Palmer. And Pete Rose again. Looking lost. Eddie Murray. Ozzie Smith. These are awesome. Yaz. Another Yaz, Steve Carlton, Carlton, Schmidt, 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 regular base, Yount, and another Yount All-Star. These are awesome, man. You must have bought a box of these, I'm guessing, or just bought a huge lot. These are in, like, perfect condition, too. Very, very cool. And another super chat from Jonathan H for two bucks is, I had you so paranoid, so <laughs> worth it. That's why I stayed it for last. I was like, what's going to be in here? A bunch of crap Bernard Gilkey cards <laughs> but you definitely uh, surprised me man these are awesome dude these are in pristine shape too OP Chief from 83 Tops something you don't see every day very cool stuff Garrett Fricks is Tom Seaver's an all time legend no doubt about it man very awesome stuff from Jonathan H and from all you guys thank you as always like I said um, John H I got a package coming your way you should get it this week sometime cannot wait for you to rip into that um, we're going to do a Kahoot giveaway now for the rest of you guys. And let me grab my laptop here, and let's see what we're going to give away. Give away cards. We've been doing it in a while, so we'll give away cards to the top five. Whoever gets to the top five place, we'll give away. So, i got a big stack of stuff here. Gary Seal says 83 is awesome. Chet Lemon says John Age is a legend. Is a legend. No doubt about it. I cannot disagree with either one of those. Let me grab my laptop real quick. BRB.
All right. Coot giveaway time. Hills pasta sauce off the screen. <laughs> All right, get your cahoots ready. Charlie is pissed. He is not happy at all with any of you guys. You did not give him enough attention. All right. So, four, I think this is only a four question quiz. I did it uh, kind of like, I don't know. I, did, I didn't try very hard. I was having headaches earlier, but uh, here's what we have. So, like I said, you guys have been super generous. I appreciate everything you sent in. I appreciate all your super chats. You guys rule, as always. I appreciate you getting me 4,000 subs. Um, 620189. Top five of you guys. Let's see what we're going to give away here. I got a big stack of stuff. At least I did, and now it's all buried underneath a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's all buried. I don't know what to do with all of it. Not good. Give you guys a few minutes to get in there, get situated. He's lurking. Legion Italia, definitely play, man. And let me know, too, Legion, if there's anything else you're looking for. I really appreciate that package you sent. Um, I'm going to keep an eye off the stuff that you are after, but if there's anything else you're looking for in the meantime, let me know, man. 620-189. Um, and top five places. I'm going to do what I usually do, where you pick out what you want based on what place you come in. So, just getting the prizes out right now. <laughs> Cody Martin says Paul is playing. Definitely not need that. Good luck, guys. Hey, Vesture. Trying to see what else I can give away. Um, that's not to anybody else. That wants things besides baseball cards. I don't know if I have anything else to pick from. Chris Weaver says, Loco is a Kahoot legend. Yeah, he, I feel like he always wins. That guy always wins. Wathen 88 card. We'll throw Wathen in there. How about that? 26 people in here. Anybody else want to jump in? Let's see. I'm just going over some last other, other cards. I was only going to pick top three, but I figure we'll do top five. I don't know what I, I need to set aside a bunch of cards I want to do, do for giveaways from now on. It's something I never, never get a chance to do. Alright, a minute, and then we will start. Just finding a couple more things, looking at a couple more cards. Alright, I think this is enough for now. So top five places. A bunch of random stuff I picked out. But could be you. So to whoever comes in first place, you get first dibs. Of course, Jose Canseco and or should I say Eric Plunk rookie card is always up for grabs here. 
Bo Jackson, 87 Fleer, rookie card. Keith Hernandez, 75 Tops, rookie card. John Wathen, 88 Tops. Harold Baines, the uh, 82 Fleer, rookie card. Actually, 81 Fleer, I'm sorry. 81 Fleer, rookie card. 75 Tops, Jim Rice, rookie card. Fred Lynn, 75 Tops, rookie card. McGriff, 86 Leaf. Jonathan H. actually sent that to me. I, I have it already, so I'm going to give it away to you guys now. From a Griff, rookie card. Leaf, Gary Anderson, 92 Bowman, rookie card. Griffey, 89 Bowman. Griffey, 89 Fleer. Ichiro, 2001 Tops, rookie card. Mookie Wilson, 81 Tops, rookie card. McGuire, 87 Leaf. Uh, Lee Smith, 82 Don Russ, rookie card. Bonds, 87 Don Russ, rookie. Griffey, 89 Don Russ, rookie. Jack Moore, 78 Tops, rookie. So you have your pick out of any of those cards depending on what place you come in so give me you know a list of what you like or what you want but if you're in first place you get first pick so let's go ahead and start but obviously you want to give me uh you know a couple different choices in case yours are picked over but a bunch of all famers all rookie cards for the most part actually i think they all were rookie cards except for a freaking uh john wathen <laughs> In my recent 84 Fleer break, how many Don Manley rookie cards did we pull? Was it 0, 1, 2, or 3? These are questions that are really easy, too. If you watch the last, like, two or three videos, then you'll get them all right. Most of you guys got that right. We pulled one. Only pulled one on that cello box. Pretty crazy. Joseph C., you're in first. A's fan, Jim Mason, ST, Mike Whitaker, Paul L. is in fifth. So as of now, all you guys winning prizes. On to the next one. In the nation, I should say national, recap video. I ripped a pack, a rack pack of 85 Fleer. What rookie card do we end up finding? Well, that was some broken English there. Was it Doc Gooden, Eric Davis, Curry Pocket, or Roger Clemens? The recent weekend recap video or national recap video, 85 Fleer rack pack. Pull a rookie out of it. Who was it? And all well, you guys said pocket. It was actually Doc Gooden. Doc Gooden on the very first pack. Johnny W. Johnny Waldeck. He wins a lot too. Slides into first place. Chris Weaver is now in fourth, and Dave Durango's in fifth. The starting lineup right next to the computer is Donnie Baseball and Mark McGuire. In the 88 Fleer box we ripped recently, what rookie card do we not find? Was it Galavin, Mark Grace, Edgar Martinez, or Matt Williams? It was Edgar Martinez. We did not find him. Most of you guys got that right. Johnny W. And again. And Dave Durango got kicked out. And Ollie Man 6 is now in 5th. Johnny W. is in first. Last question. In the last weekend recap video, I bought a thermos from what 1980s cartoon? Was it G.I. Joe, Real Ghostbusters, Bionic 6, or Visionaries? In the last weekend recap video, what cartoon was it from? It was Visionaries, and most of you guys got that right. Congrats to Johnny W. Johnny W. wins a lot, too. And he won first place. Paul L., of course, is in second. Justin C. in third. Chris Weaver in fourth. And Ollie Mann in fifth. Congrats to all you guys. Dave Durango got sixth place. <laughs> oh, man, come on. So, to you guys that won, definitely uh, send me, you know, your preferences. First place, you obviously get dibs. But, uh, you know, send me your preferences on what you want. Congrats to each one of you. Uh, send me an email. My email is linked in every single video and on the About section on YouTube. And I'll send those out to you. Um, might not be next week. I think I'm going to be out of town all week next week, but it might be the following week after that. But regardless, keep an eye out for them. And um, the next break, I'm not sure what it will be yet, but turn back the clock Tuesday. Uh, we'll still be regularly scheduled on Tuesday evening, so... Uh, not sure if there'll be a weekend recap for you. I may be out of town this weekend and might not be able to post that. Not real sure yet what the future holds for the weekend, but uh, regardless, uh, turn off the clock Tuesday will be happening no matter what. So congrats, you guys, and thank you all for an awesome Friend Mail Friday. Once again, uh, you guys are the best. 
Have a great weekend. I will talk to you all very, very soon.